my whole life. Yes, for one purpose and one purpose only. That is to create a healer in every home in the world without pain and suffering. Qigong is a study of the way of the universe, the way of us, and the way of how we act in relations to all things in the universe. No simple words to describe what Qigong is. Qigong is a practice of heart. It is a practice of look inward to oneself. The time we spend practicing Qigong meditation and movement is the time we connect with ourselves. Through consistent practicing, we naturally look into and examine ourselves inside. Who I am and what I am. What is my purpose? What is my soul's purpose? You will start finding answers to these questions in your meditation. Qigong is a way of life. Through deep examination of ourselves inside, we start to chisel away what are unneeded to be me. In Chinese, we call it xiu lian, which means continuous corrective actions to refine oneself. This is also a lifelong practice for many ancient or modern day teachers and masters. Qigong is a study of our relationship with the universe, the study of the Tao. In simple translations, Tao is the way. Qigong is a study of the way of the universe, the way of us, and the way of how we act in relations to all things in the universe. It is the alignment of ourselves to the law of nature. For instance, as the Choi Ho, this was my first uh, miracle uh, healing uh, documented in Mayo Clinic in Minnesota. She was diagnosed with a rare lung disease. The lungs just filled up with the scar tissues. Mayo Clinic doctors wanted her to have lung transplant, but he did not, she did not want to because in her mind, anyway, she was going to die. She did not want somebody else's lungs to breathe in her body. And that was the first thought she had. You know, then she said, you know, I was not going to live for that long. She had been on oxygen for six and a half years, 24 hours a day. So she came to the class, she practiced the Qigong. I taught and I did Qigong healing on her too at the same time during the class. Eight weeks Qigong practice, one hour a day. She went back to the Mayo Clinic, all the lung scar tissues disappeared. She had completely new lungs. So this was up to many, many cases like this happened in Mayo Clinic with my healing and Qigong learning. So you might say, why? The lung scar tissues could be transformed and this person could get a new lungs. I had many other similar cases like why people with the big lungs in the neck through doing Qigong practice almost like overnight disappear? How could this happen? Because they activated the Qi, the intelligence in the body, helping the body to restore back to its original information of the life. Now here comes the question, how can we activate this life force, this intelligence then? Once you activate this life force, this intelligence, you can use in any way based on your life purpose, your goal for activating this qi. Tai Chi people using it, using this qi to defend, it's very powerful. And Qigong masters use this qi to perform healing for longevity. At the very beginning, now let's go back to our talk at the very beginning. What is the purpose of Qigong then? The purpose of Qigong is to help you to activate the intelligence in the body, to heal, to live a long life. So this is the main, I mean, original purpose of Qigong. So now I want you to practice this technique together with me. And so I want you to sit comfortably, and I want you to put your hands on your laps, and you focus on your belly button the navel behind, three inches behind. Now when you inhale, you focus on your skin. You inhale the universal light coming in through your back, your chest, your arms, your legs, 
your head to all the pores running through the skin, the gaps of the cells and get it together in your lower dantian behind the belly button. Then you exhale, visualizing, just say in your mind, this, the stale energy changing the smoke, shooting out from every part of your body to the end of the universe. Now do it again. Inhale, with the universal light coming in through your skin, running through your, the gaps of the cells and collects in your lower dantian. And exhale, visualize the stale energy changing into smoke, shooting out from every part of your body to the end of the universe. When you inhale now again, if, when the energy coming in through your skin, you try to feel this goosebumps all, all over your body, in your head, shoulders, arms, legs, torso. And when you exhale, goosebumps disappear. The whole body completely open to the universe. All the energy you don't need in your body, changing the smoke, shooting to the ends of the universe. Now, how to do Qigong movement? You can cultivate the Qi in these three levels, physical, mental, and spiritual. The qi flow as a force in the body, and then the, uh, the emotion, the consciousness, and then the intelligence, and you know, the life pattern, I mean the life blueprint in the body got activated. Now here, I show you something very simple. First of all, you need to work with your body. So everybody, I want you to hold, put your feet flat on the floor. So we've got five minutes here. I want, to, I want you to experience this. You can get into that intelligent level very quickly to re-download information from the universe, to balance your yin and yang, and clear energy blockages, and heal yourself. Longer you can stay in that spot faster you can heal yourself so first of all hold the ball in in front of you hold the ball once you hold your hands like this your six meridians in your hands got activated the lungs large intestines heart triple heaters small intestines and another heart channel they're all have a a great connection to your limb system, to your immune system, to your heart. So that's why Qigong has a lot to do with the hands. So you activate. By holding the hands like this, you activate the channels in your body. It is just like that symbol. This is saying something is so unique. You believe it, it works. You don't believe it, it still works. So up to you, hold it now. You say in your mind, tell the universe, tell your body what you want. For instance, I want to heal my arthritis in my back. I want to heal my arthritis in my knees. Or I want to heal my tumors in my breast. Tell your body this is what you want so that your chi will have a purpose to work for you. All right, now after, after that, then you put a smile on your face. Smile, S-M-I-L-E, stands for, and my spring first Qigong friends, start my internal love engine. Thank you. You activate that love energy, that, that beautiful consciousness inside. And then you hold that beautiful little smile on your face. And then you start moving your hands. I want you to roll the ball up and down. And you feel happy. This is you in, insert emotion, the consciousness. Once you feel happy, that energy automatically goes to the liver to strengthen your immune system, your limb system. It's very good stuff. We're working every day so hard, it's for what? Happiness. Now happiness is right inside the ball, <laughs> in front of you. So, you move your hands gently. Now slow down. 
slowly, as slow as you can go. So now you are working in two dimensions now, the physical and the emotional. Now I want you to go up to the third dimension. You work with the intelligence. Now what you do, I want you to close your eyes. Continue to move your hand. Now you tell your body, I completely surrender my mind to my intelligence, to my soul, to my heart, and allow my heart to direct the movement of my hands. So now you don't control your movement anymore. You simply just allow your hands to move in their own way. Then your mind focus on the feeling of this moment. How good you feel? What is the tingly sensation in your hands? How that feels to you? And you you start feeling that magnetic field in between your hands. You start feeling the tingly sensation in different parts of the body. Focus on those feelings, and you allow your hands to move in their own way. When you allow the hands to move in their own way, that we call it Wu Wei. Wu Wei means you're doing nothing with your mind, but you achieve everything. 